This is Sir Stanford Raffles. He is the founder of modern Singapore in 1819. If he didn't come today, Singapore would have been a small Malay fishing village. This is Marina Bay Sands. It is one of the most modern buildings in Singapore. See on the top right hand corner? This is where it would have been 70 years ago. This is the Philosophy Hotel. This was the first thing that immigrants saw when they arrived in Singapore. It was always open so that immigrants could rest there before carrying on. This is a picture of the boats that they used 70 years ago. Some of the boats were rafts and others were bumboats carrying goods. The drawing, as you can see, is of the Singapore River. You can also see lots of shop houses and warehouses on the banks of the river. These buildings are shop houses. They are old fashioned shops of houses on top. These shop houses are all different styles. Now some of them are modern shops for goods, but others never changed. In the early 19th century, there were no traffic lights, so they used a policeman to direct the vehicles and other transport, like rickshaws and bikes. As you can see, the hard-working immigrants from China and India lifted the cargo by hand from their boats to wagons pulled by oxes which took the goods, such as spices and clothes, to their warehouse or markets. Nowadays, the river is used for tourism. 70 years ago, it was used for trading goods. The men had to use their hands and poles to push the boats. Today they use eco-friendly motors. In the early 19th century, transportation in Singapore has changed as much as the country itself, from walking to rickshaws to modern cars and MRTs. Today, rickshaws have been modified for tourism. As you can see, bikes have been attached to make the job easier.